What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of a modern man. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to dress like Rami Malek. So if you guys don't know Rami Malek, he's an American actor. Make sure you check out his work in Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, Mr. Robot, the TV show, and even the podcast I'm listening to right now. Waste basically when I do my runs is Blackout. I just finished it as of recently. I can't wait for the next season. But never mind that, I'm gonna show you guys the breakdown of his style. So if you guys find Rami Malek as an inspiration where you wanna dress like him or you wanna develop their own style within your own wardrobe, Basically, take notes on this video because I'm going to break it right down. So yet again, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the section down below. I'll be dropping more content like this and hit that notification bell so you guys can get the latest content updates on this channel. So if you guys want me to break down any more public figures or anyone you guys specifically want to see, put in a section down below. I'll make sure to check it out and do a video on that. So let's just go into it right now. So, so one thing I want to talk about first with Rami Malik is that he really has a, a posh look. Being able to, the posh term comes from England, if you guys don't know, you know, it's high class, it's fancy, it's luxurious, it's uh, it's put together, it's a way of a way Brits would say, um, you know, fancy, you know what I mean? Rich, um, kind of like a higher upper class in a sense. So posh, he really has that posh look, I just want to emphasize here with his whole outfits and how he puts things together. What's interesting about Rami is that he's able to be versatile with anything that he wears. And a lot of things that he does wear, it could be on the very loose end, but when it comes down to his posh look, he's always put together, he's always sharp. And when it comes down to like his suits, to the suits, to the two piece, he's able to make it look sharp and elegant at the same time, or even when he's in a tuxedo, it's, it's something that he, he developed over time, that's something you mastered, even with his like hair look. And I think that's very important when it comes down to dressing a certain way. If you wanna have that posh type of look, definitely it takes time to develop, but there's certain aspects that I'll recommend you guys to check out. So if you guys wanna develop that posh look, make sure you get yourself into more full suits, uh, blazers for sure, uh, pants, uh, trousers, those type of things. And the way you put it together, you don't need an expensive budget to be able to look posh, but at the same time, it's the way you put things together. Just for a quick example, so just right here is a good demonstration, is that he's wearing the plaid pants with a black t-shirt, with a black leather bomber, and that t-shirt is actually tucked in, so making it more elegant than usual than the norm actually. At the same time, he has a pair of shades, adds a little bit of uh, mysterious contrast type of look to his whole outfit, and it definitely catches people's eyes. So that, for example, is a pure example of someone who layers up at the same time, but has the has the reserved stance of, a, of a elegance. So that's where I comes into the posh term, and that's something I just wanted to break down for you guys. Another aspect I wanna emphasize with Rami Malik is that he really has a relaxed look as well. Um, even with his like clothing and styles, he has a lot of earth tones for sure. And he, re you can see him wearing a lot of loose fitting clothes. So one aspect about Rami Malik is that he's able to have that relaxed streetwear look as well, which I really like on him because it's, it's, uh, it shows a different side beyond the posh, right? So being able to do that, having that versatility in his own style is very unique. And when I emphasize the relaxed look, you can even see him wearing like a lot of linen shirts, um, even Mandarin shirts tucked in, still tucked in, having that high class look, but at the same time wearing like really skinny trousers with basically showing his ankles with his socks. So that type of look is very unique. That type of look right there is the fact of being able to wear your street style, but really relaxed, really uh, feeling comfortable with it and not really trying to look the part of anything. So that is quite cool. It really has that like that, that greaser type of, uh, the I think the 70s type of look, but it really has that, it really has that punch to his look for sure, especially because he, because a lot of the streetwear I noticed that he does wear higher pants, showing off the ankles, usually his socks or his shoes, is kind of emphasizing, and that's really cool. I like it, and especially when it comes down to his earth tones, he really embodies that with his with his overall look. So on even on a regular day, it's great because I'm looking at pictures 
you can really see that you can't even recognize them on a day-to-day -day basis. It looks like any other guy or more or less like, almost like a hipster, has a style of a hipster, uh, where it's very loose and clothes, really baggy. Sometimes it can be, uh, ha sometimes it has like content on it, graphics, but nevertheless, he really embodies that relaxed fit of the menswear. So I really, I really, really like that on him and how he does it. It's, um, it's a good contrast to his overall style. The next thing I like about Rad Max style, and I noticed that it really makes him him, is that he's always layering up or he's keeping it very, very minimal. So when it comes into those two contrasts, he's always layering up his outfits, his look. He always has that look of conversation where you want to ask him certain questions about where he got certain things if you're interested in fashion, but at the same time, he, he masters the way of being simple. So from having his iconic, ideally tucked in t-shirts to wearing a backpack and the glasses, but with the high pants, showing off the shoes, could even be boots. So on the contrast side, keeping it very simple, like this photo right here, with his white t-shirt, but at the same time, he has his pants and the tailored pants, it looks like, or hem pants. And then he has the boots with a simple backpack and a t-shirt. That alone really stands out because the fact that he's wearing boots in a, almost a springtime type of look. I, like, I really enjoy and I really appreciate that type of uh, look. So. Yeah, I think that's pretty much my perspective on it when it comes down to having the layered look where he's able to have the spark of conversation with his, what he's wearing. But uh, at the same time, I, I really like that aspect of him being able to feel comfortable and wear that aspect of multiple things, but also being very minimal at the same time. So having a spark of conversation, but at the same time, keeping it very simple with his look. Uh, Rally Malky is he's a pretty, he's a G when it comes down to his style. I really enjoy it. Yet again, guys, if you guys want to see me style break down any other public figures or celebrities, put in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to do that. Also hit that subscribe button down below so you guys can get the latest content updates on the Earthway channel. And I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.